Why did the combat arms community stop playing this game? In the beginning, it was flourishing with new players that were excited to play their very first first person shooter game. But fast forward to the current day, the community has moved on to other games with a sour outlook on combat arms, forever leaving it in the back shelf of FPS games where more dust will collect over time. So what happened to this game that was once competing with games like Counter Strike? Well, today we'll be walking down memory lane of combat arms and see all the key events that's happened since 2008 to cause such a downfall. Wake up bro, it's 2008 and there's this new FPS game, Combat Arms, and the best part is, it's free. It doesn't have the best graphics, but you get what you paid for, right? And that summer was the beginning of people spending countless hours on the game because of how much fun they were having on it. And it was looking like a great game to play for the rest of the year, then everything changed when the Hacker Nation attacked. There had been a release of Hacks Online and many people were downloading it. Players would join a room for the first time just to be welcomed with an immediate knife to the face by some hacker. And it was like this in more than half the rooms you could join. It was a huge issue. The community was calling for the only help they can turn to. Nexon, the owner of Combat Arms, but Nexon didn't seem to have much of an answer to fix it. So what did they do instead? They produced a skit on the issue, which didn't leave the best impression on the community because all it communicated was that they knew of the issue and is making a joke out of it rather than actually fixing it. Which brings us to the next stage of this game's downfall. Neglection. When any game launches, it's never expected to be completely balanced. It should almost be expected for the game to be a bit broken at first. And what any good developers would do is take the feedback of the community to improve the game and fix whatever is broken. But this was not the case with Nexon. It was a meme within the community how much Nexon ignored the community and did the opposite of what people wanted. People wanted a balanced game, they added pay to win. You buy guns or vests with boosted stats with real money. And bam, you suddenly have an edge over all the players who don't spend money on the game. Which made people furious because it was a slap in the face to the community that liked the competitiveness of the game. Some left the game out of frustration and others stuck around a bit longer. And many, many, many people quit for League of Legends. Because to put it bluntly, better games were coming out. And it probably could go without mentioning that the tension between Nexon and the community is pretty high. But that's alright, Nexon says. A big update was announced. Hashtag make CA great again, also known as the Combat Arms Reloaded update. It was an update where Nexon attempts to revamp the graphics and try to balance the game a bit more. It was the biggest update Combat Arms was ever going to get. And it got the people excited. Is Nexon gonna finally fix their game? Sadly, this excitement didn't last long. Short after the release, the community went from looking like this to like this. The menu was difficult to navigate, graphics didn't look too impressive, nothing in the game was very balanced. Overall, disappointing update. And not long after, Nexon decided to sell Combat Arms to another company called Veloof, which seemed like good news because the game will now be worked on by different people. But first, Veloof had to work on transferring Nexon account into making it Veloof account. This would prove to be a catalyst for some because they would be losing their account forever. So Veloof announced people would only have a few months window time to transfer their account, and if they didn't transfer their account in time, all their weapons they've paid for would be gone. Some players were on a hiatus and others weren't able to do the transfer due to technical difficulties, so Veloof was off to a rough start and receiving some backlash for this. But what they did do is give people free stuff when making new account to try and compensate for what they've lost. Even after a rough patch, the community thought there was one positive thing that came out of all of this, which is that Nexon's dictatorship has finally ended. The players had a glimmer of hope that maybe, just maybe, this company will listen unlike its predecessor. So the community complained to Veloof how they wanted the old Combat Arms back and didn't enjoy Combat Arms Reloaded, which brought the game to its next fatal mistake, splitting Combat Arms into two separate games. Veloof decided they'll create an old version of the game entirely separate from Combat Arms Reloaded. And to top it off, in this game, pay to win weapons will be made available to everybody with the in-game currency, and thus, Combat Arms Classic was born. But not everybody decided to move to this game, some still preferred Combat Arms Reloaded over Combat Arms Classic, which meant the community now was split into two, 
and made the game feel a lot less active than it usually was. And what's worse is a few months later, Veloaf would start adding pay to win items again, but it was a lot more aggressive in its pay to win in comparison to Nexon. Some items would give people a huge boost in speed to the point it looked like they were speed hacking. Seeing the direction Veloaf was taking combat arms, many people decided to quit the game because they knew their favorite game would only continue to go downhill. Until a couple years later, there were talks of another version of combat arms being made, not by Veloaf or Nexon, but by a member of a community. Finally, someone got tired of Nexon and Veloaf's nonsense and took matters into their own hands to create a game they always wanted, with no pay to win and adding features that was positive for the game. And this game was called Combat Arms Reborn. And they pulled it off, they started implementing and fixing the game for the better. Although it was a couple hundred people playing, it was looking very bright for the future of Combat Arms. But from the shadows, Veloaf saw that the game was starting to get more attention than their own game. And only about a week since its release, rather than trying to work something out, Veloaf pulled the plug on Combat Arms Reborn due to copyright issues. And this would mark the end of any hope or any future for Combat Arms. If you're curious about what Combat Arms is like now, you should watch this video where I go through what the game is like in 2021. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure 